Hello and welcome to a Dragon PMA tutorial. Now, uh, if you haven't noticed, my voice might be a little bit lower than usual. It's just that today I'm going to be going through um, speech recognition um, and how Mac OS X does that in the Tiger OS. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit better in Leopard, um, but surely, hopefully, it. Well, actually, I think it's better here than it is in uh, in Vista. But to be honest, I haven't seen Vista's full speech recognition range but anyway my point is I'm going to be showing you speech recognition it's in the system preferences here if you haven't used it yet I recommend you go and give it a try it's something that's that you'll get bored of straight away and put it off because it, it just doesn't save time if I'm honest uh, hopefully uh, in the future it will be used so right what is speech recognition okay speech recognition is you say something to the computer and the computer will re recognize what you say and respond or recognize it etc this is what humans hopefully are wanting to do in the way 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 future where you can go hello house put the central heating on and it'll turn the heating on and make your house warmer or house turn the kettle on and you'll get a cup of tea about 10 minutes later house do this or house close the curtains house open the garage or whatever you know so this is i suppose the start of it all um okay so what do you do yeah go into speech recognition um if you didn't see it was in uh system preferences and then speech uh you just take it on you and you see whoa what's this little blimp thing doing okay um basically this is your speech recognition window you can double click it to make it go into the docs so um well there so it's not floating about anywhere and voila it's back okay so now it's here, uh, what do you do? Now, looking at the sentence, we've got our microphone. Um, you select it from the list. I only have the iMic USB audio system uh, installed. I don't have any anything else, but your iMac, um, what is it called? iMacs, yes, your iMacs have built-in, uh, built-in, what's it called, microphones. <laughs> I forgot the word there, sorry. Um, and they should work fine. But then again, I haven't used them, so test them for yourself. If they don't work, tell me, woohoo. Anyway, um, so what I suggest you do is calibrate it first. So you'll go through this, calibrate and improve the recognition, blah, blah, blah. First, just a slide until the meter says in the middle, so it's in the middle, blah, blah, blah. Then say the commands. So what time is it? Quit this application. Open a document. <clears throat> and it should be able to recognize them all the way down the list. Show me what to say. Make this page speakable. Move down. I'm sorry move page down hide this application switch to finder switch to finder okay so recognize them all um but can i just say speech recognition is a technology that has got way 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 far to go it has come a long way but it's got a lot more to go through to be at all near perfect not even perfect like I don't know if you've seen the video on YouTube about Vista's um, speech recognition where it's like, dear friend or whatever, and it's like, yo ma, or whatever. I don't know what I was saying there. Yo mum, but with some funny accent. But anyway, my point is, speech recognition doesn't always work. That's why it's not being used. It doesn't always work. You get the wrong words because the computers are just so stupid. I mean, they're clever, but they, they, they do nothing until you... Oh, sorry. Sorry, they're just not clever enough to yet, yet, emphasis on yet, they're not clever enough yet to recognise our speech because we all t speak differently. Me, for example, I probably has got a completely different accent to what you do. I don't know who you are. You might be Irish, might, maybe you're Scottish, maybe you're from Australia, maybe you're from America, maybe you're from Mexico, maybe you're from Brazil, maybe if you've... I'm not going to name all the countries, sorry. So, if yeah, I missed you out, I'm sorry. Even Japan, maybe you're from Japan. I like Japan. I've never been there, but I'd like to. Anyway. All these different voices have to be recognized. So, um, listen the key, change the key. You can type in here space, no, space bar doesn't work. Control, Alt, um, C, no, it's not even working. Blah, 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 read the instructions that might help. So, for example, uh, why is it not working? Cancel. Change keys. Okay, compute list is spoken command. So, when you press the list key, uh, press any of the key, follow keys, numeric, add, uh, shift command options within another key so if I press 1 that could be our new key for speech recognition press 2 or F control alt F1 uh, why is it not working control uh, anyway 
I'll just leave it as escape. You get the point. You can test which buttons do and don't work. Obviously, it's not going to be R, because if you're typing a letter, dear friend, it's going to be like, whoa, speech recognition time. But it's not. You're just writing a letter. Anyway, so that's why that didn't work. My point is, I should be able to go along and then click escape and say a command. There's a list of commands here. Uh, for Windows menu bars, all, all kinds, you can configure them to your own advantage. So, for example, um, I will go press escape, make new, find a window. Make new, find a window. And voila, I will find it. What the heck is this? Um, and voila, I will find a window appeared. So, make new, find a window. Make new, find a window. Okay, we've got a new window. Obviously, your command has to match with a command that the computer recognizes. So, if I'm like, Close this window. Close oh, this window. I didn't expect that to work. But anyway, what about um, 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 make me a cake? See, that's not just going to work. You've got a speaker command that's going to be recognised. Now, I didn't expect that to work, to be honest, because the speech recognition technology isn't good enough to be perfect. So I'm going to try something else. Hide the dock. Okay, and the dock will hide. Show the dock. The and the dock will be shown. Haha. -ha. So, what about if we're going to try something more complex? Um, um, let's say open Firefox. Okay. Opening iTunes. Opening iTunes. See what I mean by it? it's not. It's never ever perfect. Um, this technology is far from complete. Um, Mac has done it quite well. Windows has done it quite well. Um, either way, they're crap. So yeah. Uh, if you want to mess around with this, you can do stupid things like you can get your computer to tell a joke. Um, tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Okay, it said knock, knock. Who's there? Tolkien. Tolkien. Now, for some reason, every time you, t you, get it, you ask it a joke and then it says Tolkien or whatever, when you say Tolkien, who? I don't know if it's just my voice. Enough jokes. Oh, great. Back Enough jokes. Work. Back to work. Never mind. Okay. So that's sp speech recognition in a nutshell. There's a lot more to be done on this. There's a lot more um, things you can do. For example, um, command windows. You can see all these commands can actually be speakable. Um, every single one of these, um, whether they work or not, is a different matter. So for example, if I have the system preferences and I go quit this application, it should quit and it has um, most of the stuff works pretty good and I think my accent to be honest doesn't help it at all because I've got a funny accent maybe if you're American it'll work a little bit better please leave a comment um, hopefully you've learned something um, speech recognition is not the best technology I've said that throughout um, it's just a little bit of fun if I'm honest uh, I quite like messing about seeing um, open Firefox again and it doesn't even work open Firefox maybe it'll open iTunes Open Firefox. Nope, not even that. Hide the dock. Not even that. Right. Anyway, before it gets worse and worse and worse, um, there you go. I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully, you've learned something new and I haven't put you off the mark. This is not something that I recommend to do day in, day out, especially not like typing documents or trying to open everything because it will not work. The technology is not advanced enough, although it is quite fun to play with. Um, so, yeah. Uh, mess around with the settings in the system preferences is uh, a lot that I didn't show you. I was just pretty much meh, 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 speech recognition sucks, meh, 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 all that rubbish. But anyway, so yes, uh, hope you had fun. Uh, please watch my tutorials again. If you have any questions, please, a quest anything like how to make my tutorials better or how to make them worse if you want them to be worse or any topics you want me to dis discuss please 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 leave a comment um, or email me at dragonpme at gmail.com d-r-a-g-o-n-p-m-e at gmail.com if you can't spell mail um, then look it up in the dictionary uh, what else that's about it thank you very much for watching hopefully this isn't over 10 minutes because I think it's gone on quite a long time I do apologize and I'll see you later bye